All right, what up, Snaps? So the key is to roll out your legs. Bam. Look at that. Tight hamstrings, no more. Jonas, what are we doing today? Hey guys, so today we're focusing on full body conditioning where we're gonna do single arm, single leg, and core. So we're gonna stop with the both legs, really focus on balance. What up, Snaps? Didn't want to go to the gym this morning. I'm feeling sick, but I went anyway. Got to do something every day, unless you're really sick, in which case you should run. What up, Snaps? So we got some vitamins. Fan love. No, I don't know. These were sent by someone who wants us to product test. <laughs> Vitabots. So it comes with this book, Vitabots, that explains the different characters. You know, there's like these guys. They look like Adam, like Blaze, all these different vitamins. It looks like... And Dr. Dr. Osteo is the villain, like osteoporosis, <laughs> saps cal calcium. Wait, are they related? But there's... Nick is going to do a taste test. Hopefully but they're not poisoned. If they're poisoned, you're like the food taster. <laughs> oh. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Ye
product launches, like you launch a new app that does something cool, maybe it massages you. Number two, metrics. Like, let's say your massage app gets downloaded 10,000 times in the first day. Number three, fundraising. So your massage app does really well and you raise a million dollars in seed funding for it. Number four is what I call overall business stories. Like a magazine now wants to cover the story behind your massage app and how you've grown to a 100 person company. Number five are stunts. Like you do something crazy that's newsworthy. And six are contributed articles. So you guest post at some other publication because they need content. The mistake that most people make when trying to pitch a news story is they don't think about whether their story is objectively interesting. Like, would you want to read it if you weren't if you weren't running the company? Also, you don't actually have to be original. You just have to be original enough. Basically, every story has been covered already. Every story pattern and arc, and you're just finding new. Th okay, so what are the mechanics of getting a story written? Really, it's pretty simple. Pitching press is like sales. First, you think of one of the story types that we just talked about. Then, get a warm intro to a reporter. The best source would be by someone who's been covered by that reporter. Then, you know, you set up a time to talk. Uh, the more they invest, the better in terms of, you know, time on their part. And then you prepare. I like to prepare an outline of all uh, the things I want to get across um, in, like, kind of a outline bullet point format and then when you have that meeting you go through all those bullet points I mean not don't have the sheet with you but memorize them and then have a conversation that walks them through your story afterwards follow up you know with the key information screenshots you want to provide them don't let them have them you know fall to chance I like to give people you know how to spell my name the URL I want people to link to um, any key facts you know key numbers and that's it. Then you launch your news. If you did a good job, they write a story. A lot of people ask if they can hire a PR firm. I think that's the easy way out. You got to kind of do it yourself first. So you know how to manage. A PR firm can help you with his contacts and organizing and setting up all the meetings. But they can't help you think of why your company is interesting. So getting press is work and you should make sure that it's worth it. Getting in the news doesn't mean you're being successful. It just feels like it. All right, there's a lot more to say, but I'm going to end this snapstorm here and enjoy my massage. All right, good luck. All right, what up, snaps? We're done with our massage, and now we're gonna make a La Croix cocktail. I call this a La Croix. I got cut off, but I call it a La Croix tail. All right, so we got blackberry cucumber La Croix. <laughs> we got this Chiro aloe vera liquor. It's pretty good from San Francisco. Look, I got bottle number three. All right, we're gonna answer this. Now, some of you might chastise me for pouring the alcohol in at the top and say that's bad drink mixology skills but I like it when the alcohol floats to the top actually just kidding I just fucked up I'm gonna mix it though <sighs> so that's a little too sweet MJZ's song was on, hands up, hold my song.